today is a, I consider to be a very important day for all of us at Freeport. For a very long time now, we've been working with the government to deal with the issues associated of the intersection of our historical contract of work, which has governed our operations for 50 years, and the 2009 mining law. We've actually been in negotiations for six and a half years. Today resulted from very good meetings that I had individually with uh, Minister Jonan and Minister Sri Mulyani when they came to New York last summer. We, we had reached an impasse earlier in 2017, and I sat down and spent time with each of them listening to what the objectives were of the government and the president. And I listened very carefully, and last August we set up a framework to try to meet those objectives in a way that would preserve the operations that we've established in Papua. And I think today is a very positive and important step along that way. And I want to personally thank each of the ministers and their staff, many of whom are sitting right over here. We have worked very diligently over these past months uh, to meet President Widodo's instruction to us to find a win-win solution. I will say, too, that it's been an honor for Freeport to partner with Indonesia and the, particularly the people of Papua over the last 50 years. And from my personal involvement for the past 30 years in working here, together we have accomplished extraordinary feats in developing in the remote mountains of Papua one of the largest mining operations in the history of the global mining industry. Together, we have overcome the many technical and environmental challenges in developing a world-class mining operation and supporting infrastructure in one of the most remote and challenging physical areas anywhere in the world. Today, we're taking an important step and we're pleased to renew and expand our partnership with the government of Indonesia, change things from the way they've operated in the past, and enter into a new period of cooperation. All of us at Freeport are enthusiastic about this new partnership with Interloom, who we at Freeport MacMarin Inc., known as FCX, will join FCX is a leading international mining company and the leader, leading copper mining company in the world. And Interloom, as Indonesia's metals and mining state-owned enterprise, will combine our strengths of both our companies to support PT Freeport in continuing to develop and produce the massive resources at Grassburg and to maximize those values for all stakeholders. We are committed, totally committed, to make this new public-private partnership a success story so that other investors globally can gain comfort in, in investing here in Indonesia as we have done. The extension of PT Freeport's operating rights will secure a multi-billion dollar investment program that will provide certainty for PT FI shareholders, to include Interloom, our workers, the local community, our suppliers and contractors, and all stakeholders. The future benefits for the government will increase significantly as a result of what we're setting out to do here today. By providing investment cer certainty, we estimate that direct benefits to the central and local governments and dividends to Interloom will range based on future copper prices between $60 billion and $90 billion. Under our new structure, more than 70% of the benefits will go 
to the government through taxes and royalties and dividends to, to, uh, to Interloom. We uh, at, at FCX and PT Freeport Indonesia remain committed to providing opportunities for our employees, our contractors, suppliers, and to continue and expand benefits to the local community in Papua. We're all committed to continue to operate at the high standards, to conduct operations in a responsible manner, to promote sustainable development in the local communities, to protect the environment, and to generate maximum benefit for the people of Indonesia. Thank you.